Well, in this blog, this is going to be a very special blog. I'm going to a funeral director's convention as a school project. And um, before I start, my shout outs go to, and I would like to say hey to Leo D and Quinn. They're a huge support of my channel. And my sh other shout out go to Cujo Chris and and a huge shout out to Mark Maroon and Little Toby Ryder. Like a flow rider. Shout out to my friends as well. So I'll be renting a car, picking it up tomorrow, and be driving a long way to the convention. It's very pricey, but it looks like a hands-on experience like you've seen in my previous blogs that I'm a hands-on type guy. I mean, I'm a, I am a hands-on type dude. I always do everything hands-on. I don't watch it. I don't read it. Hands-on. This is what I'm driving. Well, sometimes I ride a bike to class. Well, hello, people. Just got the rental car and stuff. And don't worry, I'm not going to go in this. I got to change of clothes. So, Nissan. So, I'll be on the way to the convention. Get ready to roll. Still figuring out this car. Not a lot of selections, but this will work. Yeah, once you plug your phone in, it starts up. Sorry that I have to hold the camera because the the instrument cluster is like slanted. So hopefully you don't mind that because this is a rental and um. This is a Nissan Versa. I'm on the way to the convention. I got my suit in the trunk, ready to go. And um, my parents have no clue that I rented this car because I could see my parents flip out saying, you rented a car? Oh my goodness, what the hell? My mom will say, "Why didn't? what's wrong with your car? So, mom, my car is an old car and I'm going for like a long distance educational trip and I don't want it to break down. So she has no clue that I rented this car. Oopsie. But to let you know, the speakers in this car sucks. Sucks so much I get blowjobs from it. Ouch. Kodak Black. Oh yeah. You need to release Tunnel Vision, the full version. And this is my first road trip. And um, if my mom finds out that I got a rental car, it'll be cool because it'll be over and done with and I'll be chewed out for it. So it's fine. I don't care. 
but I'm I'm like 23, gonna be 24 in this May, and I could make my own decisions. I, I just do not like when my mom gets mad at me. Why don't what's wrong with your car? Your car is fine. It's, mom, it's a 98. Yeah. But I'm gonna see if I could bring my camera into the convention so I could get some um, footage in there. But I ha highly doubt it that they'll let cameras in there. And also, I love my car, my Lexus. I miss it right now. I wonder what what is it doing right now? Probably it's flirting with other cars. Yeah, my car could be a very bad car, but probably it, it got company because there's other cars there. So, I don't have to worry as much what my car is doing right now. Just sitting there flirting, looking all hot. Yeah. We have just arrived at the convention parking and I'm about to go inside. So, my first trip. Long drive, but perfect. I'm in my convention uniform and ready to be a funeral director. Just got done with the convention and they did not allow cameras and cell phones. So, out of common courtesy about the convention, so it went well and I'm on the way home back to... Statesboro then pack the things up then in the morning return the rental car and the funny thing that happened today I had um body spray unfortunately it was white I had a blue shirt I just changed out of my suit but I had a um a dark navy blue shirt and I spray myself with cologne so I could smell good, but it leaves a white stain. Ooh, and um, somebody noticed it on my shirt. I was like, "Were you beaten off before you came here?" I was like, "Ooh, no, no." I had one guy call me Mr. Spermy, Mr. Spermy. Ouch, especially at a convention. This trip been a blast. I mean, it was very serious. It makes me, like, um, take value in my profession. And, um, learned a lot. And, um, I mean, everything was perfect, but Mr. Spermy got in the way. I'm eating dinner right now, and... And the reason that I even went on this convention road trip is because, um, my, one of my favorite teachers... I mean, she's from South Carolina. She is not from Georgia, where we with the asshole teacher. So, instead of class today, I went on this convention, which I got credit for, like, I'm showing up to class. And it gives me a break from that asshole. And um, she came up to me, and she put it, put it on the um, discussion blackboard that everyone is invited to come to this convention. I was like, oh yeah, I should go. And I was like, I mean, I'm going to it. So I went and it was a very nice trip to get away from everything. And um, after this day, I got to get back to the grind and um, see the asshole. I mean, the teacher that set this up for us She's she's cool as hell. I mean, she's cool. And um, she invited me as well. And she came up to me in person and invited me. And there's another convention at the end of this month. And I, I bet you they're going to say no cameras, no cell phones. And I was like, I could understand that. But um, it was amazing. I mean, I've learned every convention and school event. I learned something new. I learned about um, you should appreciate your profession. I mean, it is a damn good career. I mean, it's not all about the money. It's about helping others that are down, who's down in the dumps. And that is what the Lord told me to do, to 
spread the gospel through people that are going through the hardest time of their life and give them hope. So, I mean, I learn a lot. I mean, I, I mean, these days are amazing. I mean, I get a break and I feel happy again. I get to be by myself and be cool. And be so awesome. And the girl that I like, her uncle owns two funeral homes right in South Carolina where my parents live. So I'm trying to um, be cool, but I mean, she's a little bit weird. Because, I mean, she's all friendly on Facebook and shit. In person, she's like, oh, it's you. I don't want to be seen with you. Okay, whatever. Something like that, but fuck it. I mean, God will point me to the right funeral home and a great passion. Because, I mean, I learn a lot. But better get back to the ground like... Like young Scooter would say, get back to the ground. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong on that part, who sings that. But, go to the ground with me. I'm sorry that this blog may not be super funny, but this was a very special educational blog, which I felt like to sh share. And I'll be going back to South Carolina, to my parents' house tomorrow, and have fun working and make emergency response videos so hopefully you stay tuned for next week's blog because that is the sex blog about how you getting it in oh it's all about being sex i mean all about sex so see you in the next blog about sex warning may be funny and it's very sexual explicit <laughs>